you're looking at a newfangled robot, roughing out something old. To watch the Italian-made robot grind away is mesmerizing. To think all this used to be done by hand is amazing. It takes a lot less time. That's probably two months of work for a guy, whereas, you know, Mike can rough this out in a week. On this day, the shaping is being done by this tool, crusted with industrial-grade diamonds. But this is not just any robot, and not just any stone. It has a higher calling. The robot arm is digging into this block of Indiana limestone to recreate the finishing flourish that will go up there, atop the Washington National Cathedral. It's called a finial, from Latin finis, meaning end, a feature of Gothic architecture dating back centuries at the tip-top of a pinnacle or spire. But being the last bit of stone between earth and heaven, 301 feet up, the National Cathedral damaged is not the best place to be when a 5.8 magnitude earthquake strikes, which happened August 23, 2011. Stone masons in hard hats got a first-hand look at the damage to... Of all the pieces that fell off the cathedral that day, most were finials. And it makes sense. Joe Alonzo is the headstone mason at the National Cathedral. All that energy during the earthquake was traveling upward, 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 and the pinnacles were shaking and rotating. $38 million in damage, most from all that shaking and falling. Three of the four finials atop the central tower were destroyed. One survived. A 3D scan was made, a scan used to then program the stone-cutting robot, telling it where to go to make the finial emerging in front of our camera, under the watch of Mike Kennedy at Easy Stone in Vienna, Virginia. The water helps reduce dust. Also to uh, cool and lubricate the bit so that it doesn't get too hot. Uh, if it gets too hot, it'll actually uh, burn the diamonds off. But this isn't just a story about a robot. It's a journey into an ancient profession that may disappear. And it's a journey up to the highest point in Washington. It's moving day. The robot at Easy Stone in suburban Washington has cut some of the finials for the central tower. Two of them are headed there today. All 700 pounds of them. All right, going to your new home, babies. But the finial, the true shape of it, is still hit under several inches of Indiana limestone stone that will be chipped and chiseled away in the hands of stone carver Andy Ewell. On this day, he is working on a smaller finial inside the stone shop tucked away on the cathedral grounds. I'm rounding that because I'd be working this right here to make that expose the vein. It's an age-old craft, one Ewell started learning in his 20s in the mid-1980s. But does he fear being replaced? by a robot? It's gonna happen, without, without a doubt. Now, um, what can you do to bring those subtleties into it? Well, I don't know. All of the same techniques he's using on this smaller finial will apply to the robot rough finial, just on a larger scale. I've seen guys do them in three weeks. Workers at the National Cathedral have been working their way around the damaged building, which dates back to 1907, when construction began. The central tower and those four finials will come last. But getting this stone from ground to cathedral top way up there is not going to happen soon. Earthquake restoration is happening on a pay-as-you-go plan. We did have a little bit of funding last year uh, to purchase some stone to get these three big replacement finials uh, milled out. Those robot carved finials. The central tower work is still some years away, probably three years. Today is not that day, but it is time to hoist a similar finial going on another pinnacle. We're probably level with the top of the Washington Monument. Pinnacles and finials now held in place by longer steel rods, no longer relying on just gravity and mortar. This rod goes down 16 feet from here. Easy. Slow down. Hold that. Easy. The Washington National Cathedral is not the nation's church. It's Episcopalian. But over the decades, it's become the national sanctuary, a gathering place of presidents and state funerals. Twelve years ago, an earthquake shook it to its core. The cathedral endures. The work to fix it goes on. 
one piece at a time, carved by robot or hand. 